guys, uh, Super Good Productions here, and I'd like to bring you a little update on my longboard. And um, as you can see, there is a shit ton of LEDs in this puppy. Well, here, I'll just flip the switch for you, and then I'll turn out the lights. So, as you can see, there's a light right there. There's actually 12 of them. And then there's 24 LEDs on the underside and uh, as you saw I flipped a switch and they all turned on I can flip the switch again they're all off and then it takes time for the Arduino to load and then they're all on again the cool thing about this is though I can change modes but uh, the hall sensor hasn't come in yet but in here I'm not sure you can see it but so when I'm moving this mode we'll have this LED going like that and if I change modes it will have two and then so basically there's a ton of different modes I can have and as I'm moving this is what the LEDs will be doing and um, anything that the bottom is doing up here is doing also so you can actually see what's happening while you're writing and so I just thought I'd uh, show you guys a little something something of what I've been doing <laughs> I went crazy with all the different modes there were. That was pretty cool. So remember, instead of me having to press this button, this will be happening by itself. And um, I just ordered some grip tape, and I'm going to be able to grip tape over all of the wires. So it'll look like a completely normal longboard. And there's the first mode again. So... Thought I'd give you a little update on that. Ton of wires, LEDs, all this. This is, well, there's buttons on the inside to change modes and acting as a hall sensor while I don't have it. And then also, I didn't show you this, but uh, any of the lights, see how that just turned off? It can be controlled with this. So I can turn those back on. Or see these down here? I think that's, yep, off. But the other side is still on. I can turn those off like that and then turn them back on and then turn these back on. So, yeah, it's super controllable, which I really like. Run off a 9 volt. There's an Arduino in there. And the cool thing about this setup is this little box is um, completely removable. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hooked it up for pins. So, uh, when I get my grip tape, I'm just going to cut a hole right where this pin is and up here where these LEDs are this is actually covered by plastic so you can't see the LEDs or harm them and uh... yeah I just thought I'd give you guys a little heads up you can barely notice there's any LEDs when they're not on so I thought it was pretty sweet I'll be sure to upload a video of what it looks like when I'm writing it because the LEDs going like this actually do something really cool and uh I'll I'll be sure to sh upload that whenever that happens but <laughs> Arduinos man Arduinos are amazing anyway I thought I'd give you guys an update